Still jumping? Uh, I like it. I feel it's summer vibes. <laughs> I want to ask you, Drake is calling Bun B's burger the best burger he's ever had. Well, what do you think about that? Tyler the Creator said it was fantastic, had it at Coachella. I think I had it at Coachella too. I mean, it's a great burger. Okay. But Drake's from Canada, so I don't know if they have like the best burgers there to begin with. <laughs> you can't trust his taste in food. I, I don't know. I trust his taste in music, that's for sure. <laughs> But in burgers, I mean, I liked it. It was really good. But it's a smash burger. What, what would you compare it to? You can't say it's the greatest burger in the world. The well, when I compare it to, there's a lot of amazing smash burgers. Ted's Burgers in Miami, which I discovered, that has lines around the corner. But you can't call it smash burger, even though it was really good, the best burger in the world. It's almost sacrilegious. OK. You got White in New Jersey, and you got J.G. Mellon in New York, which are both insane, yeah. legendary burgers. So I feel like. Smash Burger needs its own category, so maybe it's the best Smash Burger in the world, but it cannot be the best burger in the world. And what's your best burger, the one in New York? I would say JG Mellon. Okay. Yeah. Have you had the burgers in Canada? No. Do they have burgers in Canada? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I like. I had the poutine in Canada. Uh huh. I had that Portuguese chicken. Uh -huh. Both incredible. Yeah. But I've never heard anybody in Canada talking about the best burger. I just haven't. I don't know. If you're gonna it's go, gonna her fun. how low is Canada's food on your list? No, Canada has some great food in Montre <laughs> Montreal. There's some good restaurants in Toronto. I just don't think they have the best burgers, period. How are we feeling about Courtney's baby? Oh, I'm happy you, for you her. You happy for her? Yeah. You heard the name yet? Is there a name? I don't know if there is. That's what know. I'm saying. We got to get the inside tea from I you. Know. It's been like a day. <laughs> Did, try, did Scott know about it before? I don't know. I haven't seen Scott in a long time. Have no. you got a chance to hang out with Timothy Chalamet yet? Uh, I mean, I have on my own. But but the, not like with Kylie? The garden. I don't know anything about Him that. Him and Kylie have been kind of kissing in the back room? I don't or know like... anything about that, but he's the man. <laughs> How are we feeling about Bad Bunny? You think Bad oh, Bunny's... No, this is not, what happened to Bur Anyway, Drake, <laughs> Burgers, Canada... I, I got another Drake thing for you. He made... You have been to Carbone quite a bit, right? Uh, yeah, gained 10 pounds of Carbone. <laughs> Can you get me from this end? Get me the front end. I don't want I like walking. I don't like walking backwards. I got you. I run Somebody, into things. No, Oh, if somebody's in back of you. I, I, You're gonna get me. I'm gonna get you. All right. Okay. 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 So, so Drake created a candle with okay, Mario Kart. Okay. I heard Carver. they're amazing. Wait, I don't know about that one. I know he's got candles, but I don't know about that one. He has. Drake has the candles. Mario Kart bone. Okay. What does it taste like? Garlic it's, bread or it's the rigatoni? Ravioli. How do you feel about food and candles? Is this a good well, idea? Well, I like that. But if you're gonna do a candle with Mario Kart bone. You got it to the rigatoni. Okay. The famous pasta. Yeah. Are you sure it's ravioli? It's, yeah. can't, it's not. You're wrong. Sir, There's no way. I don't know how to pronounce it, but ravioli sorrentina. I'm not sure. Okay, that's sorrentina. No, I mean, they're known for their amazing rigatoni. It's weird. Okay. You know what I mean? Is it a good idea to make a food candle though? Like if yeah, you bring like a cotton woman home, like cotton candy. You want you bring a woman home and you want to light it and it smells like food. You went back to the side. Yeah. You don't want to look backwards. No, you got to. <laughs> You're back! Come on, I want to look decent from the front. All those side angles. Back, back, back walker. Yeah. Wait, okay. You got me so screwed up. I was going to air one to get something. Ah. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, Jesus, okay. So okay, okay. Crazy okay, so, so, what do you, like, if you're going to bring the wrong place. If you're going to bring a girl home, home, you really want to like, like, you think of Drake as sexy. Right? You don't think of Drake as, like, you put on Drake's music, you want a good scent, is ravioli something you want to have in the bedroom? I think it's just like a press story because I don't think Drake's pretty smart. I don't think he'd make a ravioli candle to actually like no, get somebody home. He is, it's... No, it's, I believe it, but I oh. think it's just for us to talk about it. Oh, you think? Because they'll sell all the other candles. I think they. I think I just saw them at Harrods or Selfridges in London. They're fire. Does Mario Carbone have other food candles? I, I don't know. I don't really know anything about him except the best garlic bread ever. <laughs> Caesar salad ever, would the you, banana dessert ever. Would you want to set like that in your house? It no, would just make you hungry. I would not want a ravioli candle. Why? Well, at least I'll go get a pizza candle. <laughs> Good to see you, bro. Bye, take care. Take thank care, you man. so much, man. You think it's just a press thing? Yeah,